Constructing graphs from experimental data. Well, I used to prize the kids if they could do a graph that was any good, I'd eat it. And this is how I used to grade them. No title, taken off 5%. Put the title of the lab if you're unsure, but don't just give the title gas or colour. It makes no sense. If you miss the labels on the axis, that's going to be a problem. And don't forget the units, if applicable. Now, I'm fussy. I like to see zeros on my axis, because that's how we do it in Britain. But that's not really that important, it seems, in the IB. Pretty much you've got to use a ruler if you're going to be drawing vertical and horizontal lines. And if the line itself is messy, like I see so many lines like this where it looks like someone's got a crayon just kind of scrubbed along it. No, it's supposed to be a line, not too thick either. Wrong type of points. Again, I'm fussy about this, but I don't think the IB worries that much if you decide to go with big blobs or triangles or squares, but, but crosses or circles and dots, I think are better. Incorrect line, see this all the time, a straight line when it should be a curve, or joining each point with a straight line when it should be a curve, that's beautiful. And remember the line doesn't have to go through all the points or indeed any of the points. This is my pet bugbear. This drives me crazy. With your results, I've got one, three. I've got 10, four. I've got 11, 16. I've got eight, 23. And you just draw them out like that. Every graph this person's ever drawn in their life has been a 45 degree line. And they still haven't realized. Continuing on. It's gotta be on graph paper. You've gotta have those axis ticks as you go along. And the graph too small. That's too small, isn't it? So how many graphs did I eat in my life? Just two. Both from Greek people, strangely enough. 